I'm Hog, and this is a much smaller hog. Recently I was approached by a company called Into the Deep. Into the Deep is an Irish company based here in Ireland, obviously. And what they do is they make mostly dolls, but also they're branching into miniatures for tabletop games, both for things like D&D and for wargaming. Now what they asked when they approached me was, hey, how would you like a miniature of one of your characters in exchange for a review? And I was like, that actually sounds pretty cool. Let's do it. The reason why I was asked about this is one of the services they want to offer is for people to be able to send them pictures, uh, drawings or photographs or whatever of their own original characters so that they can have them made into miniatures by this company. You can get them pre-painted and I have a pre-painted example here. So I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. I sent them a load of images of my character Ash Jones, the, the Technomancer character from the Jonesverse. And they did a pretty good job, as you can see. What you get in a set is one full scale version of your character. And then, then, but you also get two more versions of your character in two other scales, which I think is pretty cool. I think that's a nice thing to get. You get effectively three different miniatures of your character at three different scales. The other two scales are custom. You can ask for whatever you want. And the full size is just their ordinary full size. It'll be on the same scale as my version of Ash. Also, you get the Into the Deep mascot of the year as a little mini. And this one's a, this one's a cute little hermit crab. It's, just, it's a little hermit crab, it's very cute. I like it. I got a little bonus. This is a 25 mil scale version of Ash cast in translucent green plastic, which is super fucking cool. It's very, very cool. This one has a slight deformity and that uh, it fell into a pot of boiling water and its head is slightly melted. But, you know, these things happen, that's okay. Now, as for the review segment of this, well, let's take a look. The miniatures are definitely well proportioned. You can't really fault the proportions on them at all. The design is quite good too. I didn't have pictures of this gun, I just said that I was intending on making a rifle for Ash at some point, and they, they threw one in. That, that matches Ash's aesthetic quite well. This box Ash is standing on bears a striking resemblance to Ash's dimensional locator, which was in some of the art that I submitted as a reference point. So that was good attention to detail, good attention to what's lurking in the background of the of the stuff that was given, the, the source material given. Uh, if I'm going to make any complaints, I would say that this, this sculpt, uh, it's, it's a little more slight than I am. It's a little more, um, I, I'm quite burly and, uh, and, 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 and stocky, whereas this is a lot thinner than I would be, a lot, a lot more um, scaled back in some ways. But otherwise, uh, that's, that's not a huge complaint. You can just say, please don't adjust my body type if you want, I'm certain. Uh, other than that, the detail, uh, now, this is, this is because I think, I think this one is definitely because the company specializes in dolls at the moment, which are on a much larger scale. The detail is good. It's, it's certainly good for miniatures and board games. Um, it is not quite as high as most miniature companies like, you know, Games Workshop and that kind of thing. But I think that is mostly going to be, be a matter of practice. The more Into the Deep is working with this kind of thing and on these kinds of scales, the better that's going to get. 
the more that's going to improve. So I'm not, that's not really a complaint, more of a comment. There's some very, very cool stuff in there that is included that would have been hard to do. Like, I don't know how well the camera's gonna show this, but you can see there are um, added lenses that get attached to Ash's goggles that are displayed quite well there. They, they, are, they are still sculpted in, which I think is a really, really good touch. And it's impressive to be able to have that in there, especially on the smaller scales where they are still present. As for the paint job, the paint job is certainly good enough for you to be able to use them straight out of the box. That is definitely 100% good enough for that. Uh, I think it's a little bit lacking in detail, but that's that's not a problem. As far as I know, the paint job is offered as a free extra, so honestly, as long as it's good enough for play out of the box, which it is, then that's fine. That's, that's perfect. That's all you actually need. And honestly, touching it up after that, that's not a huge job to do. You, you can do that at home yourself. And that's all you really would have to do is touch it up improve it a little you wouldn't want to you wouldn't need to strip it down and paint it again you just want to add a little bit of detail yourself which is fine that's already a lot of work that you might want to do saved for you so it's definitely worth it now one thing i haven't gotten to show on those miniatures is the detail in the base and i was given a, an unglued base to show this off I described Ash as being a technomancer and that Ash would have a lab and it would be strewn with all kinds of bits of machinery and that kind of thing. So I'm probably going to get other shots of this where I'm intentionally just filming this specifically. And you'll probably be watching that instead of me holding it up to the camera with my hand behind it to get it to focus. But I'm, I'm going to show it to you that way anyway, just, just to say that I did it. But as you can see, there's all the bits of machinery and scrap metal strewn about, actually molded into the base, which I think is super fucking cool. I think that's really great. Uh, Into the Deep, they don't have their shop live up yet, but they are on Facebook. And you can go on there and take a look at what they're doing. The sh I would give the page a like if you're interested in this kind of thing, so you can keep up and you can know when the shop launches and get more, get some for yourself. I think that's a good idea. I really like these minis. I haven't gotten to sculpt and, and to paint minis in a long time. I love, I used to love doing conversions of miniatures, like sculpting extra bits onto them and that kind of thing. And I think I'm going to do that with this. I think there are some additions I can make with some green stuff and some bits of scrap plastic that would make this look even cooler, make it really pop. And I want to touch up the paintwork a little bit. Bring out, bring out the detail that's, bring out the detail that's there as much as possible and make it look as good as it can. So I think I'm going to do a video where I do that later. Not this video, because I do not have time right now. But I will do another video just about that. So yeah, that's what I think of these minis from Into the Deep. I am really pleased with the quality of these. Uh, it feels like fairly durable plastic, actually. I hadn't comment on that, but it actually does feel pretty durable. I I'm not worried about dropping this and it smashing into a million pieces. I believe it's done through the laser resin uh, rather than casting or 3D printing. Or some of them might be done through 3D printing and others through the, the, the laser that solidifies resin, which is a cool process. I'd love to see that. But yeah, no, I'm very pleased with these. I think it's definitely worth the investment, especially if you're playing a tabletop game like D&D &D or Scion or something like that, and you want a specific custom mini, and you've got art of your character, or you've got pictures of yourself in costume as your character, Go for it. I would definitely say go for it. It's well worth the investment for that kind of thing. All right, so that's that. Thank you all very much. And a big thanks to Into the Deep for reaching out to me. 